So, ladies and gentlemen, when we're completing the end behavior, all right, when we're doing end behavior, the only thing we care about is the leading term. The only thing we care about is the leading term. However, it has to be in our standard form of our polynomial. Remember I wrote out that f of x equals a to the n, x to the n, plus a to the n minus 1, x to the n, yeah. So this isn't in that format yet, right? What we need to do is we need to distribute this to every single one of these terms. But remember, all we care about is the leading term, not every single term. So when I multiply this, I know that the t squared is still going to be the leading term. So when I distribute this through, I get h of t equals a negative 2 thirds t squared, and I don't even care what the rest of the polynomial is going to be. Yeah, if I was going to do the polynomial, I have to multiply that through, but it doesn't matter for end behavior. All we're concerned about end behavior is that leading term. That's all we care about. And when we look at that leading term, there's two things you need to write down. We need to know what the degree is. I'm sorry, we need to know is the degree going to be even or odd? And in this case, the degree is even. even. And then we need to look at the leading coefficient. Is that going to be positive or negative? And in this case, it is negative. negative. Now, the shape of the most common even function you know the shape shape of the most common even function? No, I don't. No? You know? Parabola. A parabola, right? Any even function, the, the thing I like about even functions is you guys spent all last year talking about parabolas. You guys should be um, recognize that a parabola either opens up and up or down and down. Right? It's all parabola is. It's either both up or both down. And it was all dependent on what the leading coefficient was, which we called our a. And if a was positive, then Justin, it opened up or down? Exactly. If it was positive, it opened up or down? Oh, and if it was negative, it opened? There you go. So we look at our leading coefficient, and we know that our graph is going to open down, right? So that's going to be our end behavior. However, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't write it formally, I marked you down. So let's go back through how to write this formally. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have an x and an f of, actually, sorry, we have a t and a h of t function, okay? So we have a t and an h of t function. Now, the t values, right, only go left and right. So t can go to the right or it can go to the left. So we say as t approaches infinity, and as t approaches negative infinity. So what does it look like as, uh, first of all, let's, we have a point here, and remember each coordinate point will be t comma h of t. So as my points go towards infinity, meaning they go to the right, as my points go towards infinity, where's the graph going, up or down? Down. And that's going to be your h of t values. And those h of t values, if they're going down, are they going to negative infinity or positive infinity? Negative. So you can say as t approaches infinity, h of t approaches negative infinity. And then as t approaches negative infinity, so as you move your t values to the left, where's my h of t values going? Down, which is going to be... thing to notice is when you guys say, when you guys are writing this out, I know a lot of you like kind of forget about this. You're like, well, I always forget like where to go. First of all, these statements are always going to be the same. T isn't going to approach infinity, and T is going to approach negative infinity. If you're dealing with a function with X, X is going to approach infinity, and X is going to approach negative infinity. That, these two statements are going to be a part of every single end behavior statement that you make formally. Your input value are always going to go towards infinity and to negative infinity. But then these are what's going to happen. These are what really the end behavior is. So as you go to infinity, what does the output value do? It goes towards negative infinity. As you go to negative infinity, what does the output value do? It goes to negative infinity. So these two values never change. These are going to be a part of every single end behavior you do. But these are going to tell me where is the graph going, up or down, or infinity to negative infinity. Okay? There you go. There's your end behavior. 